What's going on guys? Ruben here, got a special video for y'all. I'm gonna introduce y'all to the new arsenal which would possibly be the best saltwater wade fishing reel. That's the Tranks 150 and the Corrado MGL. Got these to replace these beauties right here. The Cronark 50 and the 200 Corrado E. Basically, these guys haven't been throwing like they should after multiple clean cleanings. You know, the bearings spin free just like they should, but for whatever reason, they're not throwing like they should. So, decided to, you know, get some newer gear, try them out. The Tranks is supposed to be the go to. It says it's made for Texas. Uh, saltwater fishing, redfish, trout, flounder. That's what they marketed as. We're going to find out. Now, the whole reason, again, these ones weren't throwing so well. And also, these uh, Cronark 50, this is a 50, the parts are getting super hard to find. If I, When I need a new gear, drive gear and uh, pinion, they are discontinued completely. Couldn't find them online. Couldn't find them on eBay. Shimano's not carrying them. E-Parts isn't carrying them. And soon, that's the same thing that's going to happen to these Corrado E's. So, I've replaced the gears multiple times and a bunch of different components on them. You know, I mean, these guys are decade old, if not older. Served us well. Hopefully, these perform even better. This Cronark 50 holds 150 yards of 20 pound test uh, fins XS braid. This 200. Holds 150 yards of 30 pound same braid. Now these are 150s. The real question is how much line these hold. The box says, since they're both 150s, it's the same. The box claims that they do 150 yards of 20 pound and 135 of 30. Kind of doubt this. You plug this into a line capacity calculator. Uh, it should, this is probably like a hundred yards of 30 if this is true because these 200s the 200 E's the 200 I's and even the 200 K's claim 190 yards of 30 pound test power pro and this uh, braid that we use is the same diameter supposed to be the same diameter as the 30 pound power pro so the real trick is to figure out how much line these bad boys hold I'm gonna let y'all know that I'm gonna open these up, show them to y'all, and maybe show some differences of how these are actually gonna be better saltwater reels than these ones. Boys, we're doing a one-handed opening. Okay, here's the tranks. Open her up. The manual and diagram. I like keeping these diagrams, even though Shimano has a good website now that you can uh, see most of their diagrams online and buy the parts. But I like keeping the diagram just for a quick note. Because if y'all know me, again, those reels are over a decade old. You know, they need parts eventually, maintenance parts, just like a car, man. You just don't drive a car for 10 years and not replace anything. But you know, certain stuff's gonna wear. And this is the Tranks 150XG8. I think, what is that? Showing up on camera. The light's too bright. It is 8.2 to 1. I prefer a 7 to 1, but this is what they had in stock. You can't complain, man. This one came out a few months ago, but no one's really had them. And it's a Tranks. It's supposed to have Core Protect. Sheesh. Just made in Malaysia. Oh, it doesn't even have the sticker. I think they're made in Malaysia still. These ones made in Japan. Just saying, thrown out there. Let's bust out the Corrado NGO. Again, manual diagram. The packaging pretty good. Not gonna lie, the downside of Avids. Avids don't even put bubble wrap over their stuff, dude. They're just in the cardboard box. There's your lube. Honestly, looking at them. They seem like the same reel. I mean, just 
obviously there are a few differences I'm not going to completely open them up but uh, I mean you look at the side profile those side plates are the same 150 let me take the spool out they say they have the same braking system so let me open them up same style braking system there's the MGL there's the tranks right there you just push them in or pull them out when you pull them out that means the brakes are on push them in that means they're off also have the adjustment right here underneath to push the raceway in and out so you make more or less contact when the, with the brakes that are spinning same thing on this one now what I do like about the tracks, and I'm going to show you right here, get that spool out, turn it a little bit, they almost seem like the same rail, and I'm sure there's some differences, and there are definitely some more differences inside, but I'm just not going to take them all apart, looking at the diagrams I can tell, if you look at the track spool, it has a bushing underneath that, uh, cross pin that gets uh, held into the pinion bearing. Again, same brake system. And they even have a little, little gasket right there at the end. I'm not sure how well that's going to help keep water out or how that's going to affect uh, performance because remember your, your spool's spinning so everything on here is spinning so if that's that gasket's touching something you're making contact and that's going to slow down the spool you're not going to necessarily cast as far especially with uh, light baits which kind of like these 150 size reels and these 50 size reels are supposed to do you know want to throw you know light baits but we're going to test it out see how it works the reason i didn't get the 200 tranks you see that right there on the 200 this is a bearing the, the downside for this being a bearing is you have to get a special tool to push this pin out and I don't know if y'all seen Tackle Advisor, but that guy knows more about reels than I do. And even with the special tool, he couldn't pull this out. He actually had to like cut it off. Or you gotta send it to Shimano. So like being wade fishing reels, these are gonna get dunked, right? So every time I dunk a reel, I don't wanna have to send it to Shimano and spend two or three months waiting to get it back. I'd rather service the reels myself. So I do not like reels with bearings right there this is a bushing so really you can just rinse it out I don't know how that's gonna affect casting performance what I do like is they added this little ridge right there right here and that bearing will see there's a pinion right there that bear well bushing will fit in that slot right there and in theory Maybe that's supposed to give it a little more rigid design because it's the spool is fixed here and here instead of here and at the end where the other bearing is. So it's supposed to maybe flex less in theory, but then again, it's also fixed where it touches the pinion right here. So how much less is going to flex because you got a bushing there that's a few millimeters away from that uh, cross pin. The reason I like that is because in my opinion, every crotto I've ever had, the E's, the I's, Cronarchs, they get water in the reel. They get water in the reel. They don't get it from the handle side. They don't get it from the worm gear. They get it because when you cast, line from your braid sprays off, right? And that spray gets on the other side of this spool and gets on that drive shaft right there. Just my opinion from what I've experienced. And of course that drive shaft goes into the reel. So when you cast again, this gets wet. You cast and it's spinning and spraying water inside your reel. And you can tell this because you, you will not dunk your reel. You get home open it up take out the spool 
this spool is wet. So hopefully having that there, that little hump there is going to make it harder for water to get past that and then onto the spool shaft. Fingers crossed. Hopefully that's going to happen. For whatever reason, I've never had a problem with water getting on the side, this uh, opposite side plate side. Like never. It never happens. Even though it gets on this part of the spool, never had to happen. Get it on the brakes, the raceway. Never have a problem with that side. And in fact, when the spool, get, when water gets on the spool shaft, the bearing that goes out is that spool bearing under this cap right here. On all the crops, if you do not maintain that bearing, that's the one that rusts and goes out. Never had this side plate bearing ever go out. And also the pinion bearing too. This one doesn't have a pinion bearing, it has a bushing. But yeah, those two bearings right there are the ones that would get rusted if you don't take it out and in my opinion from my experience it just seems like because water gets on that spool shaft hopefully that ridge is going to prevent that if we we'll look at the MGL the MGL also has the same ridge oh man let me see let me see if I can pull it out okay. the MGL also has that same little ridge Come on, work with me like right there. It just doesn't have that bushing underneath that cross pin. And of course it's an MGL spool, so it has holes in it. Kinda don't like that because again, same thing, the spray from the line. Maybe possibly getting in there. Hopefully it doesn't, but we'll see. Some other people that have used the MGLs um, in salt water haven't had a problem. So hopefully that's not gonna be a problem with us. I mean, they are pretty beautiful reels. They spin smooth. I would expect nothing less. I'm going to spool these bad boys up with 20 and 30. And actually, I'm going to take line from these, you know, to get a judge of how much line these 150s actually hold. So if it takes all the 20 and there's extra room, obviously it can hold more than 150 yards of 20. And of course, I'm not expecting it to take all the 30, but I want to see how much of that 30 pound test it actually takes so here's the Cronarch 50 still attached this is the Tranks 150 I might have to post a picture but the reels probably maybe three quarters full if that I'm not sure how well this footage is coming out, if it's going to focus or not. But, uh, yeah, this reel was, eh, it maybe wasn't full. It probably had 130 yards. But even then, it was probably going to fit a lot more than 150 yards of this 20 pound. All right, I'm going to try. And that's because I didn't pack it down tight. It's just kind of like I reeled in fast. It's not tight, it's still sp spongy. So now I'm going to try the MGO with this 30 pound see how much of that goes on it so the 150 is full and there's still line left on the 200 I'd estimate I was actually able to put all the line on this one but it was way over filled so I reeled this one back in got to tell level that I think you know this is a hundred percent maybe even a little bit more than what you would actually feel but this one had maybe 140 because it wasn't, I had used it a couple times and retying. So I'd say this probably, this 150 probably holds about 120, maybe 115 yards at 30 pound. This S Fins SX H strand. Really wish it did the 135 yards that uh, it was advertised as because the fins are supposed to be the same diameter as the Power Pro. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the line back on the 200 Corrado and then fill both these 150s with uh, the rest of this Fins XS braid. Should have enough. It's a 500 yards full. I probably already used almost 300 yards, but should have enough. 100 and 100. 
see how that goes.